with Madame Strigoi? We got the horse! Excellent, child. Good work. Now you need to get your grave dirt and a wagon, and then you can be safely on your way to Paris, and you'll be out of my hair, and I will be guilt-free. What was that? Er, uh, then you'll sail for free, dumb. And now, quick, go to the graveyard, find your grave, and dig some dirt up. Then find a wagon somewhere, load it up, and head out. The sun will be up sooner than you think. You really should find a daytime guardian, but we can work around it. Now, go while the night is young. Au revoir! carry it around. It's so cold and wet. Like my nose. Feel it. Ugh, no! But I will keep this snowball in mind just in case. Maybe this will add a little color to you. He looks like a charcoal flavored snow cone. Throw a snowball at it. Maybe I can cover it up. A snowball fight where the target can't fight back? Those are my kind of odds. I've seen better arms on a chair. But it looks like you got the job done. The black inky snowball covered it up pretty good. What's wrong, Mona? The door's open. What are you waiting for? Head on in. I can't. For some reason, I can't cross the threshold of the doorway. I wonder if this has anything to do with the fact that you are currently life-challenged. Life-challenged? Just trying to be polite. I know it's a bit of a touchy subject. Oh, you with your silly vampire theories. It's only a curse. That is, until I find a way to cure myself. Okay, so maybe the fact that you can't enter the store has something to do with the fact that you're a walking corpse. Uh, I mean, you're a vampire. It's the open and close sign for the store. It says they are closed right now. Let's see what this says on the other side. Surprise, surprise! Instead of closed, it says open. Wow, that one really caught me off guard. Sorry, but duty calls. Can you tell me what this sign says? I'm afraid I don't have my reading glasses. Y yes, uh, it says, yes, we are open. Please come in. I wonder how that got turned around. Oh, well. That did it, Fodrick. I suddenly feel different. I feel I can walk into this shop now. Pretty sneaky, sis. Uh, I mean, Mona. dress might come in handy for something. I better not take it now, but I'll keep it in mind just in case. It's a lot of brightly colored cloth. I can't think of any reason to take any of a cloth. Besides, I don't want to steal from this poor woman. I'll probably regret this, but... May I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, why the hell not? Why are you 
so rude to your wife? Sometimes you need to put a woman in her place, which is sure to be in the kitchen grabbing me another beer. Why aren't you working? I'm out on a disability. I have a mental anguish over having to work more than six straight hours. It nearly drove me mad. And I think I may have a permanent mental damage. No argument there. How come you drink so much? Have you seen my kids? And <laughs> need I say more? Don't you think you should be nicer to your wife? Ah, uh, don't you think you should be nicer to me, eh? Uh, perhaps we could continue this uh, discussion over a bottle of wine at a local tavern, I know. <laughs> Low lights, uh, music, private booth, <laughs> but lose the bad. You're disgusting! I think I better go before I do something that I'll regret. Don't worry, baby. You can do whatever you want. I promise. I won't regret it after. <laughs> Too bad Inky ate our mace. I have a desire to bury it in the top of his head. Hello in there. Anyone else in there? No one else. Just me. I don't have any hired help. What would I need them for? Excuse me, miss. Can we speak with you for a moment? A moment is about all I have. Why aren't your kids asleep? I haven't had a chance to sing to them yet. I always sing them to sleep. Unfortunately, my husband is rather demanding and rather hungry as well. And it's going to be a while before he finishes his dinner. I used to sing at Zeppelli Opera. Perhaps I could sing for them. Would that help you? Certainly. If you can get my kids to fall asleep, then once my husband finishes his dinner, I should be able to help you out with whatever you need. Why is your husband so hungry? Good question. Apparently, sitting around on your ass all day doing nothing but drinking, yelling, and passing gas that could choke a mule generates quite an appetite. How did you meet your husband? When I was many years younger, my father accidentally ran him over with our family carriage. The magistrate ordered my father to pay for his medical expenses, but my family didn't have any money, so I agreed to live with him and work as his servant to pay off the debt. And since the two of you fell in love? No! And then my family's house burnt down and I had no place left to go. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale that Ed Gallen Poe might have written. Have you ever thought about leaving your husband? I've thought about it ten times since you first entered the room. Unfortunately, he owns a shop and everything in it. I would have to leave penniless and without my children. Yeah, leaving penniless would definitely be bad. Why do you have all those dishes in the kitchen? I had to take an extra job to pay for all my husband's food and beer. I earned a little money selling gift plates door to door and washing dishes. Without the extra income, he would eat everything and the kids would go hungry. Who is paying you to wash the dishes? I'm doing some food service work for the stadium. Tonight they're having a benefit for the Association of Draxylvanian Constables. I already finished cooking for them. In fact, I just doused my cooking fire. Now I have to wash all of their dishes. In addition to that, I have to stack and organize the gift plates in a special way so they're easier to sell door to door. I make everyone stay out of the kitchen. What are your children's names? Siegfried and Roy. I bet they get picked on a lot. True. Not the most manly names in the world, but again, my husband likes them. He thought it would toughen them up if they got picked on a lot. So far, I think it just made them more hyperactive, insensitive, and demanding. Still, gotta love them! No, you don't got to. Shh! Do you happen to have any black cloth available? Yes, I think I have some stashed away someplace. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to get it for you until my kids are asleep and my husband is done with his dinner. Thank you for talking with us. <laughs>